Uh, so my curiosity for science began, I can remember, I was probably five, six, seven-ish, uh, a little boy, and I was taking apart and putting back together one of these like digital phones, not a, not a rotary phone, but it was like a digital phone, like one, two, three, four, and I would just spend my afternoons after school taking it apart, disassembling it, trying to figure out what the, what the keys were doing, how it was working with the circuit board, and then trying to put it back together and get it working again. And I think that was kind of the beginning of, of my scientific interest. So I consider myself a microscopist now, uh, but I didn't <laughs> originally think that way. I'm a biomedical engineer by training, but I always really liked photography. And so I was trying to think of ways of merging what I like to do with like what I'm really interested in, in terms of like academics and microscopy and optics was like the right solution. So I, I find myself now being, you know, on both of those paths as a microscopist. My favorite thing about being a scientist is taking the scientific method and applying it to everything <laughs> across life. So everything is a hypothesis that needs to be tested, right? Um, and applying that in things that are not necessarily science. So what is the hypothesis? How can I test it? And then what is the answer and the conclusions that I can make to then keep going? What keeps me curious as a researcher now is that it's never ending. <laughs> Right? Research never stops. We just keep going and we go and we keep looking at things smaller and smaller um, in more and more detail and then we get answers to those questions, uh, but then we get more questions and we just keep going. It's a cycle. If I had a superpower, I would just connect everybody's brains together uh, for the scientific community. I think the biggest like barrier that we're trying to, to get across is communication, right? How can we communicate between people um, and get everyone's you know, ideas in the same space? And if we can combine all our brains together, imagine what we could do. <laughs>So my curiosity now has me kind of at the nanoscale looking under a microscope and looking at the smallest details of life. And I think the natural next step for that is taking that not to the micro scale, not to the, the macro scale, but really to the cosmos, right? The biggest thing and addressing the questions, answering the questions of what is what's going on in the universe and bringing those down to the, the questions of what's going on in our body.